Hi Paula and all my newfound friends in uh, Real Women of Philadelphia Cream Cheese. Welcome back to my kitchen once again. And I'm so thrilled and pleased to yet show you another appetizer. I'm going to be very mysterious today because it's Moroccan. And I think when you go to places like Morocco and Egypt and the Middle East, it's also mysterious. So anyway, let's get started. I've got a plate of dates here. Also, I'm using approximately half of an eight ounce Philadelphia cream cheese. Also, there's some walnuts. I have uh, rose water, rose syrup. And finally, I've got some honey over here. So, and that's all the ingredients. Firstly, I'm going to roughly chop the walnuts. So let's do that. Now, these walnuts are quite yummy just as they are, but I feel if we going to just roast them, dry fry them in the pan, it's just going to bring the flavor of the walnuts up. Now, that should do it. You can see I've roughly chopped the walnuts and this is the way it should be. Now, I'm going to put it straight into a hot skillet. Follow me. And here we go. Oh, you can see it's already smoking. Just giving it a very dry fry. That's no oil on, in the skillet. On a low to medium heat and only takes about a couple of seconds and it's done. I'm going to turn off the stove. Now we're going to just let that cool in the skillet for a few minutes. Now I have the dates here and if it comes with the seed, don't worry about it. Just open it up like that and remove that seed. Now we're not going to eat that. And you're not to cut the dates right through because we want the dates just semi-cut halfway through. Now, while we're waiting for the walnuts to cool down, we're going to prepare the Philly cream cheese. So, I've got this fabulous product. This is uh, rose syrup. And it is a delicious syrup. You can use it in so many things. You can even use it in desserts, sprinkle it over ice cream. Mm -mm -mm. This is just a fabulous product. Now I'm going to add a good full teaspoon of this into that creamy cheese. Now you don't have to add too much of this because that's the color and it will give that beautiful light pink that's so marvelous and inviting to eat. Now I'm also going to use about a tablespoon of rose water. Mm. Now they make this from distilled roses and water. So that's, now that's all there is to it. Now, just very firmly mix that in, like so, and it's time to add the walnuts. Now the walnuts has cooled very nicely, and here we go, we can just toss them all into Now you might get a few little parts that are a little bit darker and if you don't want that, don't use it. Now, quickly get that all mashed into the cream cheese. Now you've got the red syrup there happening. Can smell the rose water 
Now I'm just going to try this for taste to see whether I've got the right consistency. Mmm. The words. The creaminess. Mmm. And you can taste the walnuts because by actually dry frying it, it brings out the full flavor of the walnut. It's very nutty and uh, extremely delicious. Now, I've got it to the right consistency and I'm just going to add some honey to this. You know, these dates are so luscious. They are absolutely divine. And I love dates at any time of the day, any time of the year. And these dates, and if you just look over here, I've already done quite a few of the filling. And I think we're just about going to make it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to try one of these now. I just can't wait because I know it's going to mm -mm, be yummy. Now just look at that presentation. It's got that light pink, it's got the walnuts, and you've got this little juicy dates here. I'm going to try this. They are a mouthful, so... Mm. It's beautiful. It's luscious. It's absolutely divine. It's the perfect match. What can I say, Philadelphia cream cheese? You've done it again. This cream cheese is so versatile that I just can't believe how you can put it in a number of dishes and it tastes this good. It is a date made in heaven. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you so much for coming to my kitchen once again. Catch you later. Bye.